Hey y'all, let's check out Mad Hatter's Tea Room. Hey y'all, so I found the cutest, most dainty, most just a fairy tale-ish spot. I love it, love it, love it. If you guys are new here, I am shy in Second Life and it is definitely a vibe on this side. On this channel, we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Y'all, this space is small, but it has so much going on. Now we have, we have encountered um, fairy tale lands. Yeah, 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 we have. But this one, uh, is so stinking cute. I panned out and I saw that it wasn't very large and I'm like, okay, you know what? That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. Because we're gonna make it do what it do every single time. I'm so excited to look around this land. It seems like they have so many cute little things to look at. And I love it. This um, little car absolutely reminds me of the Disney World, the teacup ride. And I think it's very super cute. So a lot of the aspects here are very mild, but it's, it's very colorful. Now, I am not in the shared environment. Throughout this um, Vlogtober, I have, and have I been for the most, yeah, for the most part, I was going to say have I been completely but for the most part I am using the shared environments on the land however I just felt like how cute is that car I just felt like the shared environment was not doing it justice um it was very reminiscent of the second life settings and so I just felt like this land is so pretty that I wanted it to have like a nice color effect to it to kind of like make the colors pop even more one thing that i did notice that i do like is that unlike a lot of the lands that we go on this land is not occupied on a full sim so they do have um surrounding neighbors i do like the fact that they didn't try to hide that you know a lot of times i will go to these lands and they will either have like a full sim or if they are not on a full full sim they'll make the land as to where you can't really tell that they have neighbors and things like that and so i do like that they did not they ain't do that they like listen we got neighbors and if you spent more time focusing on what's on this land you wouldn't even notice the neighbors so um I really like their little seating areas. Again, I do like the fact that they're not hiding, that they have neighbors. It, it is what it is. It is what it is. And in my opinion, it's actually refreshing to see a land where they're not trying to hide it. I do feel like that is a thing. I don't know if they know something about people who come to Second Life uh, lands uh, other than what I know. I don't know if it's a thing where people are like, well, we don't really like to view lands that are not occupying like a full sim. I don't know. I don't know. But a lot of the lands that I've gone to, they have had neighbors and they work damn hard so that you don't know that but because i pan out on these lands these are things that i notice because i'm panning out but it's nothing wrong with it if there's any creators that are watching this that like create lands and stuff like that for people to come and view it's okay it's okay a full sim is expensive whether you got it or not it's expensive so it's like babe, you, can, you gotta make uh, you gotta make it do what it do this is super cute so at first i thought that the tea room would be like on the outside and it is for the most part um they have like a little it looks like a so i'm like is this the mad hatter's tea room it says it's the mad hatter's tea room and so that's the reason why i'm like okay well i thought that this outer part has something to do with it but i don't know i don't know if this part is just kind of like um a little outside area maybe it's connected to the actual tea room i don't know but it's super cute they have food everywhere and you guys know how i feel about food um just a heads up the heat is probably going to cut on at any moment now and bear with me bear with me yes i'm gonna keep talking about it because it gets loud it gets loud and during my summer recordings it wasn't on at all it wasn't on at all and the crazy thing is is the air it doesn't it's not as loud as when the heat is on i don't even get that 
But y'all look at the flowers. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. I know I'm going back towards the front, but I, we didn't we didn't look at this. We didn't look at this. So when I got this landmark, got this landmark a minute ago. I had this landmark a minute ago, y'all. Um, I was like, oh, you know, I'm gonna put it, to, put an outfit together, and all of those things. And when I tell you, when I came back here this time, I was so close to putting the outfit together. That's how cute this land is to me. Now, as we can see, I didn't do that because I am still very much so staying consistent with myself with spending more time showing you guys the land as opposed to spending any time showing you guys my outfit if you want to know what my outfit looks like it's in the thumbnail that's how i feel y'all not coming here for my outfit the outfit is you know is is a cute but um sis pays attention to her analytics and what i noticed was they're like i ain't coming for that when, when y'all watching the videos they're like i ain't coming for that that's real cute and all but i'm not interested in watching you talk to me about your outfit for the next 30 seconds and that ain't that ain't what we're here for we're here for the title we're here to view whatever the title was alluding to and it didn't say nothing about your outfit which i'm cool with because you know what look how cute this is they're in their little house a whole family in a little tea house how cute is this so it really mean damn it's a lot of them okay um it makes it easier for me in all honesty it really does make it easier for me because that's less work that i have to do with trying to figure out an outfit dressing up in second life is a big damn thing especially when it's something that you enjoy the clothes for women i will say the the male avatars they do get they do get done wrong when it comes to the clothes specifically um the weekend sales i never see a lot of clothes for um the male avatars for the weekend sale and that really needs to change because they like to dress too they like to dress too. I love their sitting spaces. They have this really pretty tree house. Look how cute this is with the little seating spaces. We love the water. The lending water is amazing, but the mesh water that a lot of these creators have made is exceptional. The realism, the realism of it is just mind blowing. So look at this cute little, everything is just so, it's a cute space for like a date but i could see oh is that a little sleeping bunny i could see like a little girl's outing you know or if guys if guys like to you know have have a little cup of tea ain't nothing wrong with that you can come here too but this is given like a tea party like ladies we're getting together we're having our annual tea party meet me at the mad hatter's tea room the dress attire is tea elegance tea room elegance i don't know what, what the dress attire would be but it's it's you know elegante you know a let it be real real cute and so i really really like that it is so like you have to have a dress on you have to have a dress on in this space that's what is that's what is given look at those cookies so ooey gooey looking so they have all of these super cute little seating spaces and what i do like about it is everything has something different on the table because when you are a girly like me you really like to go table to table so it's really nice when there are different things on each table because of course it's gonna be something different to look at Look at these strawberries with this chocolate cake. This is like a whole strawberry tray. What's over here? Oh, look at this. It's so much stuff on this land. I love it. Look how cute this is. This is like a little tea party. I know that's right. How cute is this? This is super cute. So on the land the name of the land is mad hatter's tea room and then it has slash alice in wonderland so it definitely makes sense as to why they have a lot of alice in wonderland things incorporated as well even if it wasn't alice in wonderland i feel like when you are doing um like a fairy tale type land or fantasy type land alice in wonderland just always is going to fit it's always gonna go like a very very well i love these little individual oh look at this 
I love food that looks too cute to eat. That that's when you know you done did the damn thing with the food. When people are like, I don't even wanna I don't even wanna eat it. I'm gonna ruin it by consuming it. Oh, sometimes this zoom, it does what it wanna do. And I just I ain't got nothing to do with that. I, I do I do the best I can with what I got, as Mariah Carey said. Look at all these colors. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. I love this little puzzle on the floor. The little bunny here. His eyes. The eyes are giving crazy. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and we're going to give him a pass on that. So, we are about to go into the tea room. I am super excited. I love all of these colors. I want to make sure that we've looked at everything that I wanted us to see. Because, yeah. I didn't want to miss much. I know there are a lot of things that I still didn't uh, look at with you guys that I wanted to on this land. But sometimes when I walk in, I will see something in the distance and I stop paying attention to what's close to me. I'm going to keep it a thousand. I love this chair. It has a very Victorian look to it. I love the floral patterns. I love a good floral pattern. And what's so funny is I love a floral pattern to look at, but I don't want it in my house that's the crazy part about it i love a fantasy land but i want it in my house i want to i want to go and view that and and visit places like that look how pretty that cupcake is but i don't want it in my house i i've i don't i'm not like a i'm gonna do my land in like a fantasy thing i just got to the point where i am decorating with um a different type of eye so normally when I decorate I used to decorate very very lived in spaces that was like my um, decor aesthetic for me I loved a look at this floating teacup I loved a good lived in feel and now though I still do love a nice lived in feel what I do find myself doing at times is going on these um, Facebook pages and um, on Facebook they're for Second Life and just kind of like seeing how they decorate and be like, hmm, I wonder if I could stay in that type of scope. So then I try to do like editorial decor where it's very clean cut. It's like almost like staging like when people have like housing shows and stuff like that and then they stage the house I wanted to see if I could do that and I did it and it was really really cute but I also learned look how cute you know you know y'all know how I feel about a naked cake love a cute little naked cake um what I realized is although that is something that teacup is so pretty although I love being able to have that type of decor I like a nice mix. I like a nice mix. So I love a nice staged house with a lived in feel. That's that is my decor. Like that is really my decor. But what I also noticed about myself is that a lot of times I will stay with very safe colors. So lots of whites creams tans with like a touch of black you know i love i love a good black when i think dark i always think black i don't ever think like um darker neutral tones and things like that or browns and stuff like that i'm like black i love black i, I love a nice black um hunter green and black those are my jam look at this cake uh cabinet everything looks so yummy and so when I'm designing the land that I have now, I kind of meshed the two. The majority of my houses that I have decorated in the past, even though you guys have only seen one, they tend to be very bright. And I do feel like that is indicative of me wanting the space to have a nice, like, airy type feel to it. But you also can accomplish that. I don't want to look at that table just yet because it's a lot on there that I want to be able to see. Um, You can have that nice airy feel with darker colors as well. Do darker colors make the space feel more pulled in and compact? Yes. But at times, I feel like that's an easier way to have the space feel more cozy is when you do have a space that does have a nice kind of like compact feel to it. I was about to look back on that thing. I'm like, we already saw that. We already saw that. So 
I'm almost, almost done with the land. Almost, almost done with the land. I'm done with the outside of the land. It's the house. It's the house. And you know, for me, I need to have these bookcases look so nice. I love the, like the bended bookcases, the Alice in Wonderland type bookcases. Um, that I, when I walk around my house, I need to feel like, ooh, ah, okay. That's how I know that I'm done. That's how I know that I have gotten the feel that I wanted is when I walk into the house and I walk around the spaces and I'm like, mm-hmm, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not there yet. Some of the spaces, yes. My entrance area, the foyer area, yes. It, I'm there. I'm there. Do y'all say foyer or foyer? I don't know. I say foyer. That's what I, that's what I say. That's how I like to say it. Um. So when i feel like all of the spaces are giving me that feel then i'll be like okay i'm ready to show y'all i'm not showing y'all no half ass space i'm not i'm not i want y'all to really have a nice feeling of what you can do with smaller spaces for me the heat's coming on y'all it won't be on long for me um once I got out of the whole mind frame of like wanting to, are these tea bags? Let me see. This little Finca thing. Is this tea bags? These are little tea bags. How cute is that? Once I got um, out of the space of wanting like these big houses, I love how this is like the big version of this, but they didn't like just make this a smaller cake this is a different cake from the other one it doesn't even have it doesn't have as many strawberries on it so it's a different cake from the it's a different design from this cake same cake different design i do like that because they could have very easily just made this shrunk it down and just put it on the side because it has the same platter and everything but they're like no these are different these are different versions of this big cake and i really do like that look at these strawberries Look at these strawberries. What was I talking about? The bigger places. Once I got out of the whole mind frame of living on these huge lands and in these big spaces. And like, it's nothing wrong with people who like those type of spaces. It just, for me, it got old. Because I am very solo dolo when it comes to Second Life, I didn't need that big house. I didn't need all of that land and things like that. So now I'm really into compact spaces. I really am. I love a nice small space. I love to see what all I can do with it, how far I can take the decorating in a smaller space. And you'd be surprised. You would see something that's small. And when I get to decorating, it's like I wouldn't have even thought that all of this can fit in here. I'm also a big change it up girl. Scarlet Creative Houses, in my opinion, are so nice for um, modifying. Even though the houses are mesh. Even though the houses are mesh, they do leave a lot of aspects to it as to where you can alter. I love this whole play setting with this green. This cake look this cake looks very Christmas festive. I love that. They have it where they won't make it one piece. Um, it'll be one piece, but when you get to edit length and clicking on stuff we've seen this cake at the at a different cafe land that we were on it ain't even there no more y'all it's something else but um the mesh you can manipulate it and i do like that so i'm able to take a house that might look a certain type of way and i could move walls around and things like that to give it a different feel and then it's easier to decorate so sometimes you might not be able to decorate a space when the build is the way that it came but if uh, specifically if it's a scholarly creative house you can you can alter it for the most part you can change rooms around change move walls around and things like that to kind of better fit what you're trying to do with your land and i really do like that on sue houses they do not give you those options the on sue houses that i have the sky boxes as well they're pretty like this is what it is if you want to move a wall i wouldn't recommend it it's really like that with the um 
with the Ansu houses. Their houses are beautiful. Their skyboxes are marvelous. But if you are a girly like me, they have very, it's very, very limited as to how you can edit the house to kind of make it a little bit um, of a different design. And, you know, I feel like if that's something that you're into, then that would be something that you would look for when it comes to you getting a house that might not be perfect for you but you're like if i could move this wall around this could work look at how pretty this tea set is i love that although the flowers are like red flowers because they have a little aged feel to it they're like a lighter tone almost like a rosy pinkish color i love this and it complements this chair so very well or the chair complements it so very well super duper cute so yeah, so that's what I'm into now. Just kind of like editing the spaces that um, I am in, like the houses that I have and things like that and kind of making them, well, not kind of, but making them very unique and specific to me and for me so that it's like, you know, we like, we love a little different. So it's like, yeah, you can have this house, but this is how I did it. And that's one of the things that I love. So I'm really, really excited to be able to show you guys like what I've done with the land and just to show you guys what you can do with smaller spaces and with not a lot of prams. And I think that's very, very cool for you guys to be able to look at because it gives you a better idea of what you can do with certain spaces and in certain spaces when you're not trying to spend a whole lot of coin in Second Life because Second Life can get a little costly and although we know it ain't tricking if you got it, it ain't nothing wrong with saving a little bit of coin. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys tomorrow.